hello students welcome to mizo study and welcome to my class in my last lecture i was discussing the pro, uh, formula related to many chapters i have discussed chemical kinetics uh, electrochemistry solid state many more things today i am taking a chapter from uh, that is atomic structure we know atomic structure yes we people know in atomic structure we basically discuss the structure of an atom similarly same thing i will discuss atomic structure many more theories are there we describe the structure of an atom but among all the best uh, possible structure the best uh, recommended structure was bohr's atomic model bohr's atomic model okay according to bohr that is rutherford has proved that there is a nucleus within the atom where all mass of the atom is supposed to be concentrated clear now bohr move forward and told us that electron revolve around the uh, around the nucleus with a fixed orbit having fixed energy and he named this uh, orbit r k l m n o so on clear that is the introduction of orbit here that is k l m n now number of electrons in a cell equal to 2 n square where n is equal to 1 2 3 4 dot 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 okay now for k number of electron will be 2 1 n is equal to 1 here n is equal to 2 here n is equal to 3 here n is equal to 4 here we know 2 8 18 and 32 and if i consider o also that is 50 electron is it clear to you and the next main thing that is he told angular momentum is the integral multiple of h upon 2 pi if an electron revolves in the second orbit then it angular momentum equal to 2 h upon 2 pi that is h upon pi that is if it revolves in fifth orbit that will be equal to 5 by 2 h upon pi let you these are the general concept which uh, which we uh, study and bohr's also bohr's atomic model and the bohr's uh, that spectrum that is hydrogen uh, atom spectrum or hydrogen like species spectrum one electron system that is the one electron sy system we know uh, basically there are two type of spectrum emission spectrum and adsorption spectrum clear to you now there comes hydrogen like uh, spe species like h helium plus lithium 2 plus beryllium 3 plus these are the one electron so it could not explain the multi electron system and in case of hydrogen like spectrum we have the formula 1 upon lambda is equal to rz square 1 upon n1 square minus 1 upon n2 square clear to you r is rydberg constant the value of r is 109678 per centimeter clear and n is the uh, series and we know uh, electron when uh, comes into excited state that is there comes a series first series is lyman series you know yes lyman series n1 always equal to 1 but n2 is equal to 2 3 dot 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 then balmer series lyman balmer pascan series bracket series Lyman Balmer Pascan bracket fund series Humphrey series Lyman Balmer Pascan bracket fund and Humphrey series Balmer series n1 is equal to 2 and n2 will be equal to 3 4 dot 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 Pascan series n1 is equal to 3 and 2 is equal to 4 5 dot 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 bracket series n1 is equal to 4 and 2 is equal to 5 6 dot 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 fund series n1 is equal to 5 and 2 is equal to 6 7 dot 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 lyman balmer pascan bracket fund and humphrey series n1 is equal to 6 and n2 is equal to 7 8 9 dot 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 clear to you okay now what we have that is uh, lyman balmer pascal lyman that is it comes in the uv region uv only one series is visible that is balmer series it comes in visible reason and pascal bracket and font series comes in infrared reason okay 
if the smallest transition if the smallest transition that is maximum wavelength we get maximum wavelength that is suppose n1 is equal to 1 any series n2 is equal to 2 that is gives you maximum wavelength and minimum energy clear any series suppose if i consider balmer series then n1 equal to 2 and n2 is equal to 3 if they are asking to find the maximum wavelength and minimum energy S uh, similarly minimum wavelength when n1 is equal to 1 suppose if i consider lyman series and n2 will be equal to infinity suppose if i take balmer series n1 is equal to 2 and n2 is e infinity lyman balmer pascal pascal n1 is equal to 3 and n2 is equal to infinity so on these are the cases we generally observe yes now we have the next one radius of an orbit r n is equal to r naught into n square upon z what is r naught that is 0 0.529 angstrom is it clear to you yes energy energy of n orbit equal to e naught or e 1 multiply z square upon n square that is this is equal to 13 minus 13.6 ev electron volt or minus 1312 kilojoule or uh, 2.18 uh, 2 into 10 to the power minus 19 uh, so on clear to you now uh, we have velocity velocity is equal to v1 multiply z upon n similarly you can drive the maximum number of derivation like circum uh, uh, time uh, like uh, wave number also uh, this generally we study in uh, atomic structure now there comes uh, uh, next one next one is planck's quantum theory Max Planck's quantum theory. What is Max Planck quantum theory? That is, E is directly proportional to mu. E is equal to h mu. What is h? That is, uh, Planck's constant. The value of Planck constant is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34. Clear? Yes. Now, if anyone asks you energy of one Einstein, that is, energy of one Einstein, that is, one mole of photon energy of one mole of photon is called one Einstein that is E is equal to N A H mu again I am repeating that is E is equal to N A H mu clear to you this is uh, the one, uh, one Einstein that is the energy of one mole of one mole of photon yes sir. Now the next one what we have the next one we have that a photoelectric effect Einstein photoelectric equation we know e is equal to w naught plus half mv square that is kinetic energy that is h mu is equal to h mu naught plus half mv square what is mu naught mu naught is the frequency called threshold frequency threshold frequency mu naught is equal to frequency called threshold frequency clear so, we get uh, h mu minus h mu naught is equal to half mv square is equal to kinetic energy. Is it clear? Yes. Now, there comes the next one is, uh, no, next one that is matter wave lambda is equal to de Broglie wave equation h upon mv or lambda is equal to h upon p or lambda is equal to h upon uh, root 2 m k e that is kinetic energy of the electron ok yes sir. these are the various formula we generally use uh, during uh, problem solving now we have heisenberg uncertainty principle delta x into delta p is greater than equal to h upon 4 pi that is delta x into uncertainty in position and uncertainty in momentum delta x into m delta v is equal to h upon 4 pi or delta x into delta v is greater than h upon 4 pi m clear these are the things <coughs> we generally observe this is just a formula class so i am not giving a detailed explanation uh, just a practice session you say uh, you can say that is just this is just a uh, practice session i'm covering maximum number of uh, formula here now energy difference we know delta e is equal to e2 minus e1 clear if anyone ask you ionization energy that is minus 
minus E1. That is, the ionization energy will be equal to plus E1. The value will be plus. Minus, suppose uh, ionization uh, uh, E1 is equal to minus 13.6 EV, ionization energy equal to plus 13.6 EV. Clear to you? Uh, okay. Uh, next, what we have? Uh, we have that is subcell S, P, D, and F. Clear? These are the uh, D, F, G. Okay. S has 2 electron maximum, P has 6 electron maximum, D has 10 electron maximum and F has 14 electron ma uh, maximum. Clear to you, in a cell, suppose if I, uh, if I take K, K has maximum electron and the value N is equal to 1. So, K has only one subcell. L has 8 electron. So, in this case, N will equal to 2. So, it will have two subcell S and P. Clear? Yes. Now, that is M. M has 18 electron and in this case N is equal to 3. So, it will have 3 subcell S, P and D and N has 32 electron, N is equal to 4. So, it will have 4 subcell S, P, D and F. Similarly, by using this we can also write the electronic configuration. Clear to you, these are the simple things we generally use in atomic structure. Now, there comes the second part, the Schrodinger wave equation. Schrodinger wave equation gives us the idea about the position, exact position of an electron in an atom. Clear to you, that is d psi square, psi square value wave function, because electron has wave nature as well as particle nature as per the de Broglie wave equation. Any substance of matter as matter wave, these are called matter waves, okay. Then we, uh, we used to um, think about the uh, Pauli's exclusion position, Heisenberg centrality principle, etc. Clear to you, in this class, I will discuss these things. In my next lecture, I will discuss few more interesting things. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you so much.